The Battles of the Central Pacific by Matthew Garina, Nick Doyle, and Patrick Brown. The Battle of Tarara was in the Pacific Theater of World War II. It was fought on November 20th to November 23rd, 1943. It took place at the Tarara Atoll in the Gilbert Islands. The major combatants of the war were the United States and the Japanese. The commanding officer was in charge of the battle for the U.S. side was Julian C. Smith, Harry W. Hill, Colin Smith, David M. Shoup, and for the Japanese, it was Kaiji Chibazaka. Here are a few images of what the battle looked like, and here's a picture of the Japanese leader and one of the U.S. leaders. The common weapon and technology used were atomic weapons, high-powered atomic weapons, semi-automatic weapons, flamethrowers, most commonly used by the U.S., and grenades. The casualties for the various sides were 1,696 killed. 2,101 wounded for the U.S. and for Japan, 4,690 were killed, 17 captured, 129 labored captured. The Tarara battle was significant because the U.S. wanted to take over Japan and Japan felt like they needed to fight back. The U.S. also felt the same about Japan in that they needed to break them down separate out the power and be peaceful. Japan violently came back at the U.S. and the U.S. struck back quickly. This battle went on for a few years and it was a bloody battle. The Kwajalein War began on January 31st, 1944. It was part of the U.S.'s island hopping battles. The U.S. came over to Kwajalein after a victory in Tarawara. The war came to an end on February 3rd, 1944. The U.S. had two major leaders, Admiral Richard K. Turner and Major General Holland M. Smith. Between them, they had about 42,000 troops. The Japanese had one main leader, Rear Admiral Monzo Akiyama. He had about 8,100 troops at his side. Here are a few images of what the life looked like for the U.S. troops during this war. During the battle on the island of Kwajalein, the 7th Division U.S. Army lost about 177 men and had about 1,000 wounded. The Japanese lost a lot more with 1,000 men dying. The U.S.'s victory in the Kwajalein War was very important for them. Because they were able to defeat the Japanese very quickly, they were able to gain a lot of power and momentum, which helped them go forward and surprise attack a fleet of Japanese ships and aircraft. This really helped them get forward and do better throughout the war.
When did it take place? The battle occurred on June of 1942 and finally controlled all islands by August 1943. Who were the combatants? The battle was between the Japanese and the United States. Some 94,000 troops were used in the taking of the islands. The battle lasted a little over a year, from June 1942 to August 1943. The commanding officer for Japan was Lieutenant General Hidichiro Higuda and for the U.S. Rear Admiral F.W. Rockwell. Casualties. The U.S. suffered 3,829 casualties, roughly 25% of the starting forces. The Japanese lost 2,351 men that were only buried by the U.S. Some speculate more died. Many new types of amphibious landing equipment were used, as well as howitzers, machine guns, and new kinds of explosives. This battle was significant because the Aleutian Islands were the first islands used to start the island, island hopping campaign. Most all of the operations were based out of here until more, more useful islands were gained. 